Hey guys, this is Cool Japan, and I've got something really cool to show you guys. This is from the Dragon Quest Legend Items Gallery series. And the series is basically these, these weapons that you can use with a huge range of figures. Right now I'm having it posed with, um, with a figure arts figure. But you can use this with so many figures. And one of the better figures to use this with is Link from Legend of Zelda. I don't have that figure though. I wish I did. And I'll probably be getting one soon. But anyway, you can use these, these, these weapons with any figure that has an open hand like that. Like an opened clutching hand like that. And you can... Yeah, you can you can make them hold these weapons and the weapon set that I have right now this is the the Dragon Claw and Metal King shield looks like that it also comes with this sweet looking stand that's super detailed you can see all the nails and the bricks and stuff it looks great and the weapons themselves man they look so cool Look at this. This is the the Dragon Claw. It looks awesome. And the fact that you can use this with so many figures, I mean, it'll work with figure arts and figmas and revoltex. These will work with so many figures. And if you have a figure that this will look cool with, you know, look at that shield. It's so, so awesome. It has that little... Dragon Quest slime on there, which is pretty cool. But you can put this on so many figures, and it's just... It, I mean, I can't really explain how cool this is. And I got a ton of them. I have 12 of them, so I'm going to go through each one really quick just to show you guys what they look like. So, yeah. Next up is the Miracle Sword. This is super cool. Look at this, this one comes with a sheath, and the sculpt on this is perfect. It's like leather and this bronze kind of gold looking stuff. And this sword looks so awesome. The cool thing about this is this, these little gems are clear, giving this sword this really cool look. And it actually goes inside the sheath, of course. So you can, you know, you can have the figure holding the sheath and also holding the sword like that. It looks cool. It looks nice with the stand too. Next up is the Sword of Ramius and the Philosopher's Stone. Here is the sword. This also comes with the clear purple dragon. Um, hilt and also this clear gemmed um, something something or other and you can see the sculpt on the grip and the sword it looks so good you know imagine your figure holding this that is so nice and this philosopher's stone I don't really know what this is maybe it's some kind of mace or you could pretend it's like a potion or something Really cool. Here we've got the Heroic Wand and Power Shield. Let's look at the shield first. It looks nice. These birds. The paint is a little bit off, but that's no problem. This one might be hard for your uh, figures to hold. But yeah, that looks nice. And this wand, check it out. Look at that. The the wand is like this statue of some guy holding a sword. <laughs> it looks so cool. I guess it, uh, you could use this as a spear or a mace or or just a magic wand. Pretty cool. Next up is the celestial armor. And being an armor piece, you probably won't find any figures 
that this will fit on. But I don't know, it is possible. I mean, you can take it off the stand. And if you have a figure that's skinny enough, you could probably fit the legs in there. And maybe you could fit the armor on it. Likely not. But but even if you can't, you know, this is an awesome looking set of armor that you could put on display or something. Having a hard time getting it together. But yeah, let's check out the armor. Look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> the detail on this, like, like the clear wings, the dragon wings, the breast plate and this chain mail underneath the clear part here it it's just so detailed and it looks so great having this on display like in the back of your your diorama or something this will look great and if you really really try i'm sure you could find a figure that it'll work with maybe i mean it almost fits this guy of course, it'll look weird, but yeah. Anyway, that's really awesome. Next up is the Wind God Shield and Fire Claw. Look at that shield. It's so cool. This one might be a little bit harder to fit on a figure, but if you try, I'm sure it'll work with somebody. And the claw. This is really cool. I've seen figures, I've seen pictures of this on different figures. What they did is they took off the hand. They just uh, took off the hand entirely and just fit this on their arm and it works. If you've got a figure with a skinny enough arm, it'll work. It'll work on this figure, of course. But yeah, man, look at that. The detail on that. Look, look at that wing. It's so cool. Each piece is just, it's so detailed. So, this stuff will be good with so many figures. If you've got figures and you need weapons, this is a great place to get them. Moving right along, we have the Blizzard Sword and Ice Shield. Let's look at the sword. Look at that. It's got like this frost right here and the, this really nice metallic blue paint on the sword. Look at that, that is so cool. This will work with so many figures, man. And here's the shield, the ice, what was it? Ice shield. This one will be a little bit easier to fit on a figure because there's enough space here to fit the arm. That is cool. The reason why the color is a little bit off is this set is from 2005, like 12 years ago, but they look good. They feel good. It's awesome. Next up, we have the Dragon Staff and Medical Herb. Look at this little herb. Pretty, pretty cool. Or kind of gross, too. But next we have the dragon staff. It's clear right there. That is so cool. Look at that. So much detail. It's got the dragon claw clutching this little orb. That looks cool. If you've got like a wizard figure, this would be nice. Doctor Strange, maybe. That look cool. Next up is the Staff of the Mystic Bird and Metal King Helm. This is the Mystic Bird. <coughs> Another really cool staff. It's got all these little details like the clear red, clear blue orbs on the shaft. Looks so nice. It's another good staff for your mage. And it also comes with this cool looking helmet. Metal King Helm. Oh yeah, you can see the Metal King there. Oh, this matches the shield that we saw earlier. 
Unfortunately, it's a helmet, so it probably you'll have a really hard time finding a figure that it'll fit on and not look stupid. But, I don't know, maybe it'll fit with Magneto. Who knows? But uh, it it is still a good display piece. You know, you have it with a stand like that. Looks awesome. Moving on, we have the Demon Hammer. Check it out. This is huge. It's like a giant mallet. Look at that, there's just like really nice detail all around. That looks awesome. It's pretty heavy too. This will look nice with Harley Quinn. Yeah, alright, and I've got two more, so if you followed along this far, stay tuned because it's almost over. Next up is the Leaf of Yggdrasil and the Sword of... Okirno, I think is how you say it. I don't know what this leaf does. Maybe it's like an HP, or I mean not an HP, like an MP kind of thing. But if you put some putty on it, it'll look really nice hanging right there. And the sword of Okirno, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, looks like this. This is the sheath. It looks so cool, like bluish blue leather kind of th stuff and the sword itself looks like that it is cool it's a little bit thick here so it might be hard getting a figure to hold that but it goes inside the sheath like so and looks great and it looks great all right we got one more last up we have the alchemy pot and the Icicle Blade and Frosty Cheese. Here's the Icicle Blade. It looks nice. Clear plastic. And again, these are from 2005. They, they hold up really nicely. Except maybe the cheese is a little bit more yellow than it should have been. But it's cheese, so yellow cheese. Not bad. More like a greenish, maybe. I don't know what this does, though. Frosty cheese. And the alchemy pot. Looks really nice. You can open it. Put something in there. Maybe put the cheese in there. Alchemy pot. That's cool. It's got the, the clear stuff right there. Yeah. So there we have it. I got 12 sets. There are ton of weapons man there's like tons of weapons shields items and staffs and claws these are all super well detailed and just really cool to have and they fit with so many figures i totally recommend getting these if you didn't know these were a thing i totally recommend getting them they're really old so they're pretty cheap i, I mean like um you could probably get them for like five five bucks for each set Maybe cheaper, I don't know. I got this entire set and it was it was like 5,000 yen. It was pretty cheap. I mean, for what was included, it's awesome. And also, there are a ton more. Like, these are from the first and second series, but there's also a third and fourth series. And it's not just Dragon Quest. There are other stuff. Like, there's four series of Dragon Quest. And there's, I think there's like two or three sets of... Um, monster hunter weapons like monster hunter armor and shields and swords and and whatnot there's a ton of stuff and also there's another set of samurai stuff like samurai swords and ninja weapons and also like roman soldier weapons there's just a ton of stuff that i found and i'm gonna try and pick up as much of it as i can and show it on video hopefully you guys will like it and yeah, anyway, stay tuned if I ever do find find more stuff. And thanks for watching. If you watch this entire thing, thank you so much. 
and stay tuned for more cool Japanese things.